Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the review of Wrath of Man, starring Jason Statham. Written and directed by Guy Ritchie. Probably definitely top five directors all time. If you, you know his movies like uh, The Gentleman, Rock and Rolla, you know, all those good gangsta British movies. Um, absolutely phenomenal. I was expecting big things coming off of The Gentleman, and he delivered in every aspect in this film. The only thing I can say is that it's probably a little bit long. You know, it's two hours. I feel like it could have been shortened a little bit. But if there was a director's cut, I'd probably watch it. You know what I mean? Because I'm just a sucker for Guy Ritchie films. You know what I mean? So uh, the story is, and we might dabble a little bit into spoilers, but nothing much that hasn't been already shown in the trailers is that Jason Statham is this, he's this mysterious guy who all of a sudden starts working for this uh, transport company that transports money, like uh, armored trucks. And we don't know why. You know what I mean? This guy is, you can tell, like he's an elite of the elite. Like he's army or, or something. You know what I mean? Special forces, maybe even a spy. You know what I mean? That's kind of what was going through my head. Um, because they leave a lot to mystery, uh, the way this film is done. It's, it's, there's different chapters to the movie, literally chapters. So it'll go to a black screen and there'll be like a title for the chapter. And there's like a, a subplot uh, or its own little stories in those chapters. And then they all kind of come full circle. So you kind of get the whole picture and then the ending, which is... <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> probably one of the best, sh one of the best shootouts I I've ever watched on cinema. You know, it puts the, it puts the town and heat to shame as far as I'm concerned. And it's like balls to the wall. You know what I mean? And this movie had me on the edge of my seat from start to finish, start to finish. I was engrossed in this world and in these characters and Guy Ritchie is just, he's just phenomenal at this stuff. So anyways, Jason Statham, he's working for this armored truck company. He, you can tell he has some sort of motive as to why he's working for this company because he seems way overqualified to be working for this company. And over the course of the different subplots and the, the different chapters, you realize that the reason why he's working for this company is because his son was shot by robbers of an armored truck. And he's trying to find out who this gang is, I guess, uh, who who shot uh, his son to death. Like his, his son died. And it turns out that he is, I should be careful here, I don't want to spoil too much, but he is essentially a mob boss. And... <laughs> you jason this is probably like the rawest i've seen jason statham like he just he doesn't even have to say anything you can just tell by the look on his face it's like don't fuck with me you know like you, you know like i'm gonna i'm gonna do anything possible and i mean anything to find out and find the people who did this to my son and that is basically the premise of the movie and you know there's different chapters with the gang that shot his son uh, with even Josh Harnett's in this movie. It's really, <laughs> I, when was the last time we saw Josh Harnett in anything? And you know what? He's a little bitch in this movie and it suits him and it's perfect because he tries to be like this tough guy in the beginning and then he turns out to be a pussy, which um, it, I don't know, it suited him. Uh, compared to Jason, like you put Josh Harnett beside Jason Statham. Come on. Really? Anyways. Um, and then, you know, over the course of the film, you've like the last probably hour is this like intense, fuck, like sh shootout. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's insane. You don't know which way it's going to go. You don't know who's going to die. You don't know who's going to survive. You don't know what is going to happen. And it was just, it was a nail biter. And I can't recommend watching this movie enough. I'm going to rate this movie a nine out of 10. Please make sure you go and watch it. 
Uh, I'm not sure if it's still in cinemas or not, um, but I whatever you can get your hands on it and watch this movie, go watch it. It's a 9 out of 10. And the only reason why I'm docking a point is it probably could have been 10, 15 minutes shorter. Not of the, like, the shootout stuff, but of the sub-story stuff, like... Like, especially with the uh, the bank robbers. Not the bank robbers, the armored truck robbers. Like, we get it. We get who they are. We get their... Who they are. We get who they are, you know what I mean? And I didn't think that needed to be, like, 45 minutes of the movie. I think that could have been cut down to, like, half an hour. But beyond that, uh, it is a fantastic film and probably one of the best that I've seen this year. Um, it may not a lot, of, maybe not a lot of people will agree with me, but I don't care because these are the types of movies that I like to watch. I like these gangster films. I like, I, I like Mr. Ritchie's, uh, style of filmmaking. And like I said, if you, if, if you enjoy this film, go and check out the, go and check out anything he's done. Cause it's, it's fantastic. And most of the time, Jason Statham is in it. Uh, the gentleman was just oh, so good. You know what I mean? That was probably an 8 or a 9, too. I'm probably not going to review it on this channel, but go see it. You know what I mean? And go see this film. Go watch it. It is a beautiful popcorn flick. It's action-packed. It's nail-biting. It's just... The story is so good. And it twists and turns and, you know, it jumps in time. And, you know, it keeps you confused. But almost like the character is confused. Like, Jason Statham is confused. Like, just the chaos that is in his mind. Like, it's almost like the director's like, all right... If he is chaotic in his mind, I want the viewers to feel that chaos and that anger and that, you know, the frustration of going through person after person after person trying to get to his his son's killer, you know, and just go see this film. Anyways, 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel. It helps me. And, uh, it, you know, it just gives me some, you know, incentive and lets me know that you guys like what I'm doing here. Um, and also check out some other videos on the channel. There's lots of other reviews there. And I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.